In this lesson, we're going to learn how to enter text into Microsoft Word. We'll start by writing a business letter, we'll learn about the spell check on the fly feature, and we'll learn about Word Wrap. So let's begin by typing in our letter. I'll type in Dear Mr. Schwarzenhofer, S-C-H-W-A-R-Z-E-N-H-O-F-F-E-R, -E -E comma, enter. Now as soon as I press enter, Word puts a red squiggly line under Schwarzenhofer. What does that mean? Well, Word has a built-in spell checker to check all the spellings of the words that you type in. Word has no idea what Schwarzenhofer means. It doesn't realize the proper noun, the name of the customer. Personally, I find the spell check on the fly a little annoying. In fact, in a future lesson, I'm going to teach you how to turn it off. My personal belief is I like to get my document typed out and then go back later and do a spell check. Sometimes seeing that red squiggly line throws me off balance and it disrupts my train of thought. What you can do in the meantime if that red squiggly line bothers you is right click on that word and then come over here and pick ignore. That will ignore the spelling error that word thinks you have. Let's continue typing our letter. Now notice when I right clicked on Schwarzenhofer, it moved the cursor. So I'm going to take my mouse and click back down here on the bottom to move the insertion point down to the end of the document. Now I'll continue typing. Enclosed is the quote we discussed for your new computer system. I'm sure you'll find the price is well within, oh, notice what happened. When I got to the end of the line, Microsoft Word automatically wrapped me around to the next line. Let me hit the backspace key a couple of times and show you that again. Here I am at the end of this line. And as soon as I start typing the next word, since I'm out of space, Microsoft Word automatically wraps me around to the next line. That's called Word Wrap. And let's continue typing our document. Well within your budget. Now notice, Word found a misspelling. Within is spelled incorrectly. So now let's use that spell check on the fly to our advantage. Let's take the mouse and right click on the word within. And now notice you'll see some spelling suggestions. There's within, there's writhen, there's wither. Pick the one that you want there. So I just click on within. And word makes a substitution. Now I'll click back on the end of the line out here somewhere to continue typing. Let's continue typing. I'll press the spacebar. As you can see, comma, I've added the extra memory and hard drive you requested. I have also, oh, look at that, it wrapped around again. As you hit the end of each line while you're typing in Microsoft Word, just let Word wrap the text for you automatically. This is intentional. If you're used to typing on a manual typewriter, you might be used to pressing enter at the end of each line. Don't do that in Microsoft Word. Let Word automatically wrap the text for you. The only time we're going to press enter is at the end of a paragraph. So let's finish our paragraph. I have also added extra cooling fans to your case. Period. Enter. And that's the end of the paragraph.